Hi, Aquarius. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another general reading for you guys. So I am focusing on Aquarius placement. Um, this is a general reading. So take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. Um, also, I am tapping into the strongest energies in the Aquarius collective, not the only. So um, if I haven't tapped into your energy and you would like something more specific, make sure you're checking out the details in the description box to see how you can book your personal reading with me all right so Aquarius let's go ahead and get started what do you need to know what's going on what's coming in just overall messages for you I've had a mix of love financial family stuff for all the the um, signs so we'll see what's going on for you guys all right, Aquarius, what do we have here for you? Okay, the eight of Pentacles practice makes perfect okay so you guys are working on something. You're working on something fun, okay? I even got some sort of routine. You could be an actor or you could be doing something creative, but I feel like it's it's fun work. You like doing it, okay? It's something that you, you've known how to do since you were a kid or you've been wanting to do since you were a kid. It's something that you're you're perfecting or you're very close, like you, you're just good. Yeah, three of pentacles. <laughs> I get ensemble. So some of you could absolutely be actors here or in some sort of group where, you know, everybody plays a part. But I, I absolutely get where I feel like you're a perfectionist working on something. Um, and you're very careful, very, very, very careful about who you work with too. Okay. I get that. You guys are very picky about who you like share your craft with. Three of swords. So. I feel like um, you're doing something that you love, but somebody close to you may not love. I feel like you're doing something despite knowing that someone may not like that you're doing it. Maybe a mother <laughs> with the empress. Um, you could even be planning something that somebody close to you may not like that you're planning, but you're doing it because it brings you fulfillment because it um it it contributes to your health wealth and abundance with the empress all right let's get some more cards out and see what's going on the magician you're working yeah the five of cups i was about to say you're also working through heartbreak or you're working through something disappointing okay or something that's still that you could still be mourning all right okay yeah the two of swords so i feel like there's an area of your life that's like about your finances or what you love to do, your passion, that feels like it's going really well for you. And there's another aspect of your life that you can't get off of your mind, okay? The King of Wands, this could be about a masculine energy, a romantic partner, a Leo specifically, also Aries Sagittarius, but somebody that could be on your mind. A lot of you may be trying to distract yourself from this individual. Um, there, There is a strong energy that this is somebody that... Um, you're about to do something really big, really major, and this person may not be here for that. And so that could be something hurtful, okay, with the three of swords. And then no matter how hard you're trying to like be happy about this and, and look at what I was able to pull off, there's still something that hurts about doing it maybe without the presence of someone, all right? Um You're definitely trying not to have regrets. You're trying not to like focus on the, the, the bad. All right. But you are, you are doing something that feels like it's so special to you and you just wanted someone to be there for you. And I feel like they're not. What's the eight of pentacles? It's a ton of wands and you're working really hard. Okay. So you guys are putting in a lot of work. Um, you have a lot of passion for something. I actually feel like, you know, you've been giving more of your time to this than you should because you feel exhausted. Um, a lot of you, your body is starting to break down a little bit, but you're determined to get something done. You're determined to pull something off. What's the ton of wands? With that eight of pentacles, thank you. It's the chariot. You're determined to succeed, okay? Some of you may be in the transportation industry. Um, you could be just like working nonstop. You're working on something for sure, nonstop. Some of you are trying to relocate. That's why you're working so hard, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be relocating far, but you know 
where you're meant to go or where you're meant to be with judgment. And some of you are trying to make some sort of big move by a Scorpio season. And so that's why you're working really hard too. Or there's like, it's showtime, you know, very soon. So that's why you're working very hard. You're, you're, I feel like you're going to be successful at this. The three of pentacles, you're going to accomplish what you wanted to accomplish here. Three of pentacles, the hierophant. All right, so this is where I feel like you're merging or collaborating with a big um, institution or an establishment. Um, this is where somebody like, we want to pay you to market our stuff or like, so you could be connecting or collaborating with a business, a brand in some way. Um, this could even be something like, you get that job with that big company that you wanted, okay? Or you finally get the position you wanted with the, the company, the establishment you wanted. What's the horrifying here? Yep, Ten of Pentacles. Lots of money for you guys. Lots of money, lots of abundance. You guys are really the only ones who came through with that strong message. I also feel like there is something like that you're doing Yeah, the Ten of Swords. It's, I don't want to say it's messing up your family situation. I just feel like there's a family member or something that's not on board. And so it puts a little damper on your building and whatever you're working on. That feels like it's, it's, it's beautiful and successful. The Three of Swords here. Let's just see what this is. The Tower. So, um... You're, you're dealing with a lot emotionally. Most people are not knowing this because you're still working, because you're still producing, because you're still making money. Most people don't know that there is some sort of pain you're doing. That you're working through some sort of pain. You're working through something that has um, disappointed you. Yep. And you're being very strong about it strength here you're not trying to let people down you feel like you have a lot of people to i don't want to say like take care of but you do have people you're trying to make proud here scorpio leo energy taurus cancer the magician let's see what's coming through the six of swords yeah, a lot of you want to move and I feel like that's, um, you could have already moved and like your family is not supportive. You could have moved and had to leave people behind or someone special behind. Um, because I feel like a lot of the success y'all are having or a lot of the things that you're able to pull off right now, it is because you moved away or separated yourself and someone's not understanding. What's the Six of Swords? It's the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I think people are giving you trouble, problems, because they didn't pursue their passions and their dreams, and they see you doing it. You could be the King of Wands, okay, in this energy, the pursuer of, of your desires and everything you want, you, you go after. And so you in that attitude, mindset, energy could be creating resentment in people that are Sad to see you surpass them. Sad to see you no longer where you used to be, which was close to them. It doesn't always have to be about jealousy. Some people are just missing the crap out of you. Five of Cups, or you're missing people, but you had to move forward. This is this is hard, you know? Moving is hard. A, readjusting to a new life is hard. You're missing people. People are missing you. Five of Cups, please. Thank you, the Empress. You have a mother who is really missing you, Aquarius. If there are Aquarius energies that are going through a pregnancy, you could feel like you're going through this alone, all right? Um, you could feel like there are people that you want to be there and they're not. Taurus, Libra energy coming through. The High Priestess. Some of you are so like dis distant from family. You may not have even told them about your news, your abundance, 
a birth, a pregnancy, you're, you're like secretive about it. And you're like, should I tell them? They always have something negative to say, or they're just going to want me to come back to a pentacles. And so you, you, you haven't spoken about something very special happening. Okay. So with the five of cups and the empress here with the high priestess, there will be Aquarius energies who are experiencing some sort of loss. Um, when it comes to a pregnancy or that's just something you've gone through and you haven't told anybody about it. And so you're having like a lot of good things happening for you, but you you still have like the memory of something that could have been, but feels like it didn't materialize basically. And so you're still like, you're like determined not to talk about that. But the two of swords is saying where um, some of you, you're going, you're doing something alone or going through something alone and you don't want to. And, and, and you're trying not to like break and, and move back or call somebody for help or something like that. What's the two of swords? Six of wands. Listen, I mean, some of you are just like, I'm going to have to shine alone. I'm going to have to do this on my own. All right. You're determined not to go back to certain things. Leaving those things and making an important decision not too long ago is actually what's brought you so much success. So you've had to make some sacrifices. You've had to give a little. You've had to give up some things. Six of Pentacles here. But the reward it's not as big as you want it just yet, but it's getting there. That's why you're working so hard. That's why you're saving up for a pentacles. You, 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 you're like bigger. <laughs> That's whatever this is about. You're like, I want more. I want bigger. I want better for myself. And I feel like you guys, um, honestly, a lot of you are like, I can only be productive if I'm separated from that crowd, from that family unit, from that family member. Um, as much as you love them, as much as they love and miss you, you've got work to do basically. All right. You're, you're making moves out here. And I feel like, um, a lot of you are moving in silence with that. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.